Hello viewers, this is Wagadaruna taking you through this tutorial on gravitational field strength and gravitational potential energy. So gravitational field strength is the force acting or exerted on a mass of one kilogram placed in the gravitational field and gravitational potential energy is the work done to move a, part, a body of mass m from infinity to a point in the gravitational field. Gravitational, potential, gravitational field potential is the work done to move a mass of one kilogram from infinity to a point in the gravitational field against gravitational force. So note that word against gravitational force. And gravitational field is the region where the gravitational force is experienced. So shall I begin by getting an expression for gravitational potential energy due to a point outside the earth. So consider a body of mass m moved from infinity to a point b in the gravitational field. So a body of mass m it is moved from infinity to a point b. The force acting on the body when at b is given by f remember now to be gravitational force so to be this mass and that mass. So the mass of this body is m, the mass of the earth is me. So gravitational force will be g m m e over r squared, where r squared is the separation of the two bodies. Now suppose that the body is moved a small distance, s r, small delta r, from a to b. So if it is moved a small distance from A to B, a distance of delta R, the small work done will be given by delta W equal to force times the distance moved, which is delta R. But remember that the force is this, so come and substitute here to get that expression. Therefore, the total work done in moving the body from infinity to a point B in the gravitational field will be given by W equal to the integral from infinity to R. So infinity is where it's coming from and R is the final destination in the gravitational field. Of what? Of this work which is GMME over R squared dr. So this, the whole of this is a constant which is that. So when we integrate 1 over R squared we shall get negative 1 over R. So it gives us this expression in li the limits are infinity and r. So when you substitute r here, where there is r, you get this. And when you substitute infinity, and number divided by infinity is 0. So you get the same expression. And that will be the expression for gravitational potential energy. So note that there is a negative on gravitational potential energy. So you should not forget it. So if you are to sketch a graph of potential energy with distance from the center of the earth outside the earth's surface, the shape will be in this form. Below the x-axis, that is because it is negative. So it is that exponential. Now we shall go to relationship between gravitational field strength and gravitational potential. Remember, gravitational field strength is a force exerted in a particle of one kilogram in the gravitational field, and gravitational potential is the work done to move a particle of mass one kilogram from infinity to a point in the gravitational field. So, suppose that AB is equal to delta x, so a small change in x, where delta x is so small that f can be considered constant between A and B, between two points A and B. So the small work done moving from A to B is given by negative F multiplied by delta X. Now why is the negative there? The negative is because of the because G and F are in opposite directions as you can see here. This is F and this is G. But we know that F is equal to MG from the formula Therefore, when you substitute, we can also get the formula for work done as mg, where there is f, we put there mg, so it will be negative mg multiplied by delta x. So that will be our equation 1. 
the increase in gravitational potential in moving a mass from if A to B is given by, remember, gravitational potential is the work done to move a mass of 1 kilogram from infinity to a point in the gravitational field. So because the mass has to be 1 kilogram, this work done has to be divided by the mass to get that unit of gravitational potential. That's why we say the work done over mass to get gravitational potential. When you cross multiply, you come up with work done as m delta v, where delta v is a change in gravitational potential or increase in gravitational potential. So now this equation 1 and this equation 2, they all give the same value work done. So you can equate the two to get this expression and when we make g the subject, we shall come up with negative delta v over delta x. So in the limit of P2, we shall get del g being equal to negative of dv dx. Now this dv dx is given a name called volt, sorry, gravi potential gradient. So this dv dx is known as potential gradient. Therefore the relationship between gravitational field strength, which is g, is that gravitational field strength is equal to negative potential gradient. So that's the relationship we wanted to derive for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.